Welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I thought it'd be fun to go and show you um, how I've merged a couple of my lightning shots together um, into one image so that, you know, if you get a bolt, uh, a few bolts in, say, two or three shots, two or three frames um, while you're out shooting lightning, you can combine those into one and you know, come away with a really cool um, multi-strike uh, image. So let's jump into Lightroom. All right, so here we have um, our first image and here is the second image. And really I've already, um, I've already done the Lightroom edits that I wanna do with these. Um, and we're gonna show you how to put them together like this, so. First off, uh, what you'll do is after you've um, done your editing and made these images very similar to each other, you'll go ahead and select both, right click, edit in, layers uh, for Photoshop. So you wanna bring these into Photoshop, it's layers so that you can stack them on top of each other and you know bring out the pieces of images of the image um, that you want uh, so that or re you'll want to open these as layers in Photoshop so that um, you can reveal certain parts of one image and um, certain parts of, of the other image and put those into one layer so um, that's kind of what we're going to be doing here there's a couple ways that you could do this. All right, so now that I am in oh, Photoshop, uh, you'll see that we have the two layers here. If I toggle these on and off, um, you'll see we have there's there's the two frames that I showed you earlier. Um, so now that we have them in Photoshop. When you, you, first thing we want to do is make sure they're aligned. Um, theoretically, if you have your camera on a tripod and you don't touch it, uh, it won't move. But uh, I've found that sometimes, you know, there, there's little micro movements. And so you want to make sure that um, we have those images lined. So edit, auto align, and you can just leave it on auto. Uh, I find that that does the best. Um, there might be cases where you want to, you know, change that, but it's fine for right now. And as you can see, that did a pretty good job. Boom, 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 boom. What I'm looking at right now is the the path, and I don't see those changing at all. So that is perfect. So now, what we want to do is. Um, when we, we we could do this a couple different ways we could do this using channels uh, and you know try and um, select the brightest portions um, and if you shift select they give you a little more oh. there's your new alpha why is it not working there we go and it'll keep you could keep doing this until you um, had just those bright spots uh, what I found works pretty well is if you went ahead and double clicked and we open up this layer blending mode split these apart and you'll see as soon as I start to do that that bottom layer comes into play so we could do this until we see you know that entire bolt make sure we hold option and split these apart and boom now you'll see they're right there 
and it's just that easy. Um, from here, you can, you know, go ahead and crop it however you want. So that was how I had a different image, but you could do you know, your normal three by two, uh, four by five, whatever. Um, you know, make sure that you're aligned on the horizon. And boom. That's a really quick and easy way to, to bring back some light portions um, of an image, or uh, in this case, some lightning bolts. And if you zoom in here, it looks pretty, it looks pretty, uh, pretty good. So yeah, that does it. Um, from here, you can go ahead and save it and it'll save back to your Lightroom. Um, so I'll do that now just to show you. Now if I toggle back to Lightroom, uh, should show up once this is saved. Boom, you see now it is in my Lightroom. <clears throat> so there you go. Um, that is an easy way to bring in uh, some lightning bolts into your image. Um, if you have multiple frames, you could do that trick and, uh, and get them into one. So um, yeah, let me know if you go ahead and use this uh, in a, your images. Um, tag me on Instagram at Mark Rapine or um, reach out here on YouTube or Twitter or anywhere else. Uh, I'd love to see what shots you got. Until next time, peace.